Hello, my name is Thomas Niedermeyer and I'm a data engineer at Ignayo Crypto Asset Analytics. And I will now give you a quick introduction to our paper Detecting Financial Bots on the Ethereum Blockchain. First of all, what is a bot? A bot is an EOA that sends automated transactions. Depending on what bot we have at hand, they can have good or bad implications. Bots may be employed to make processes more efficient and robust and may save users time by automation. On the other hand, there are bots seeking financial gain at the cost of unwary users. And by spamming transactions, they can drive up gas prices. And this list goes further, but I hope I've already convinced you that bots are interesting. And it would be nice to have a way of detecting them. So there is bot detection software tailored towards very specific kinds of bots. And there is literature on using machine learning for wallet behavior, but there is no flexible way to detect bots using a data-driven approach, such as, for example, machine learning. And this gives motivation to investigate the use of ML for bot detection. We formulated the following three research questions. What types of bots are active on distributed ledger technologies, such as Ethereum? To what extent can we detect bots automatically? And which features are most informative to a model with high performance? Now that you know what our work is about, I will outline the methods used to answer these questions. To find out what types of bots there are, we propose a taxonomy for financial bots on Ethereum, comprising seven bot categories and 24 subcategories. In order to accomplish that, we complement the existing scientific literature with anecdotal evidence of financial bots that we collected from GitHub repositories or in the annotation process. In the annotation process, we create a ground truth dataset of 270 addresses. We add additional data by the use of other bot detection software. After a feature engineering step to transform raw blockchain data into features, we model the data using different clustering and classification methods, which we evaluate and report performance metrics for. Finally, to find out what features our best performing models used to make predictions, we use an explainable AI method, namely SHAP values. So this was a very brief outline of our work. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Crypto Asset Analytics Workshop.